and welcome back to Adventures with CTS Wardrobe. So this is part 10 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a base body uh, that you can put in your wardrobe because that way no matter what you have on, no matter what you've done, <laughs> you can always with a click of a button get back to your base body setting. So this has been very helpful to me, especially when I'm trying on a bunch of clothes or something doesn't work right. And then I'm like, uh, can we just start over, erase, erase, erase? So this is kind of your erase button so that you can get back to your basic avatar. Now, let's see. So the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to open up inventory. Let me move that down a little bit. Open up inventory and I am going to go into the RLV folder and I've already made a base body. It's my Matreya 5.1 base with layers. So we are going to make a new folder and I'm just going to call it test. I can't spell. It's all good. Matreya um, base body. That's what we'll call it for this. So we're going to make a folder for your base body in your RLV folder to make sure that it can talk to wardrobe correctly. And then we need to go to, let me close that. You can do this one of two ways. You can go to current outfit, which shows every single thing I have on right now. Or you can go to your appearance tab and basically that does the same thing. This shows everything that I have on right now in the wearing tab. Um, I am going to use my appearance tab over here. Let me close the current outfit and I'm going to open the RLV back up and there's my test folder. Okay, so to make a base body, basically what you need to do is you need to have only um, the body parts that make up your base. So all of these clothes and earrings and all of that need to come off. So I'm left with just the base body ready to dress. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to remove the heels and the necklace and the rings take all of this off okay that's part of my body 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 we want to leave that take off those pants take off the belly piercing take off the earrings don't need those um i can actually take this off oh it won't let me detach because we locked the head remember <laughs> I'm going to take this off, take this off, and at that point, even though you can't see it, um, now I'm just base body. So I've got my, the mesh body, I do have the body head on um, because I use that a lot. <laughs> so we're going to keep that on. And then I have my clothing layer, tattoo layer, underwear layer. That way, when I get back to my base body, if I'm going to put some piece of clothing on that needs to go on a layer or has an applier, I've already got my layers added on. So I don't have to go find them anywhere. Um, let's see. Now, you can leave, if you have a certain hair that you wear all the time or you wear more than others, you can leave the hair on. So for this example, I'll leave the hair on. For my other base uh, body that I have, I don't have any hair on it because I save my hair with my outfits most of the time. So for this purpose, we're going to leave the hair on. Now I have all of these items make up my base body. So what I'm going to do is let me come over here. Let me come back to current outfit because what I need are the links. Where's current outfit? There it is. What I need are the links to everything that I have on. So 
I'm going to select, I don't want to select that because that's my outfit folder in here. I'm going to select all of these items because this is going to make up my base body. So these are all links and I have to select them all except for the outfit folder. And then I'm going to copy them and then I'm going to come back up to my RLV base folder, choose my test Matreya base body folder, right click, and I'm going to paste all of those items into that folder. So now in my RLV, when I get ready to load this to wardrobe, I will have all of this base body stuff here. So now let's see what we're going to do. Ready? I'm going to close my appearance tab and let's go over to the wardrobe and I'm not going to take a picture for this one um, as you can see there's the regular base outfit that I have with layers clothing tattoo and underwear layer um, there's my Laura head I added it Chloe head for my head there's my AO and there's my dance hood because doing hosting stuff I need that quite often and I just want to put it on really quick so I'll show you how to do this in another video all right so let's go up to import add items and then what I do is I go into canva and I just made a template for things like this base body heads etc so I made this real quick to say test upload because we're just doing a test and the title has to match what we have over in wardrobe. So let me go see, I'm sorry, over in the RLV folder. So let me go see what we have. It's test, let me just do rename so I can copy this and it'll be exact. So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to wardrobe. Let me delete that and I'm gonna paste it so that it matches and it can find it. All right, so um, tags for this, I think I have been tagging them with base, um, this is base body. All right, the next thing we need to do is make sure that when we put our base body on, that everything else comes off. So we need to scroll down to where it says where and click more so that it shows everything here and it says remove the following clothing layers attachments before putting on this outfit so we don't want to let wardrobe guess for the clothing layers we want all of the clothing layers to come off and then attachments we're going to say select all we want all of the attachments to come off except for one so you come down here and we're going to uncheck bottom because the wardrobe head is attached to the attachment point bottom and we don't want that to come off even though we've locked it just to make sure we're going to uncheck that so it doesn't come off and mess us all up so make sure that all of these things are checked except for the bottom attachment point and then we should be it okay then we're going to submit that close this box out and then let's go to show all and there is my test upload so I'm gonna do the where dialog make sure that it finds my folder and it did close that out and the next thing I want to do is I want to put this into my base outfits bar so that I can click on it in one click I don't have to go through and find it it's just gonna be here so I'm gonna activate editing over here I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull it over, and when that bar turns yellow, you release it, and ta-da, there it is. And then I'm going to deactivate the editing, and now my test Matreya base body is here. So, let's go back over in World. So, I've put on a different outfit, which is a little blurry right now. <laughs> but that's okay that's not the point point. and 
what I want to be able to do is if I'm in this outfit, but I want to put on some other stuff, I just want to be able to go to my wardrobe, click on my base outfit, and it should all flip me over to my base body. So let's go back to wardrobe. I am going to click on my test base body because if this was all gone, I can just go here. It tells me that it's being put on. So let's go back in world, see what that's going on over there. Oops, I disappeared. There I am. It's putting my base body back on. That is not attractive when that happens, is it? <laughs> and ta-da, I am back to my base body. So now I can just put on whatever I want from my wardrobe without having to go in and detach a bunch of clothing and just get back to the state very quickly. So that is how easy it is to just get back to a base body. All right, let me see. So I'll get an outfit on here in a minute, but that gives you your base body. It's very, very handy to be able to use that, like I said, to get dressed. Um, because now I can go to, if I show all of this, I can go here and choose anything from my wardrobe. These are saved outfits, so I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. But I can pick anything from my wardrobe and put it on. Let's see. Let's say I want to wear this dress. Wear this dress. I'm going to put the dress on. I'm going to put the sleeves on. Let's go back in world. And there it is putting the dress and the sleeves on. Ta-da! I don't have any legs. Upper legs. Let's fix that, shall we? Where's my upper legs? There's my upper legs! <laughs> so yeah, that's how that works. It's still resing. But anyway, there you go. This one was a little long. I know it was, but it at least shows you how to do that. Alright, so the next video, what we're going to do is learn how to save an entire outfit that we can put on our base body. So that'll work great. Saved outfits instead of individual items. I'll show you how to do that next. All right, until the next video, peace out.